A freeze has been put on all Starship testing, but it looks like things could be heating up soon. SpaceX secures a buttload of funding. Falcon 9 places more Starlink satellites into orbit and makes the ultimate sacrifice. And the Mars Perseverance rover is today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. You know, if there's one thing I've learned this week, it's that when you're shoveling your driveway for a second time in a single day, you tend to question how you survived this long, you know, given your crap life choices. But in such turbulent times, it's best to stop and look around to see how everyone else is doing. Because if they're just as miserable, you'll feel much better about yourself. Take South Texas, for example. SpaceX moved their Starship operations to Boca Chica because of the convenient location for testing and launching giant boomsticks. It's a freaking spaceport, brah. It's isolated on the coast, and the warmer temperatures in the summer are almost bearable. Sure, if you're not wet because of the sweat, you're wet because of the hurricanes, but something's got to water those tumbleweeds, right? But despite being one of the most southern places in the continental U.S., Boca Chica encountered snow, freezing rain, and high winds over the weekend, bringing work on Starship SN10 to a halt. After all, in those kind of conditions, it's time to ditch your cherry picker and grab a sled. And while SpaceX did have some power through their on-site solar field and batteries, the weather wreaked havoc everywhere else in the state. Wind turbines froze over and hundreds of thousands lost power, including Lab Padre, whose cameras went offline. Not that there was anything going on at the time anyway. Even the local sea turtle population was in need of assistance. But of course, like always, Elon and SpaceX to the rescue. Awesome face paint job, what do you think? I like turtles. The turtles are still in need of heaters. You can help out by donating to the cause using the link in the description below. However, by Tuesday, things were looking up and Cruz got back to work on SN10 and Lab got his cameras operating once again. By the way, be sure to subscribe to his channel and show him some love for his efforts. Elon has since clarified the corrective measures engineers will be making to better ensure a successful landing with Starship in the future. Not only will they be switching all three Raptor engines on during the flip maneuver, but now they're working on lowering the minimum throttle point of the Raptors. This will enable them to use all three engines during the landing burn and not have to worry about switching off the least operable one or having any flame out. Elon believed SN8 would have less than a 50% survival probability, but now thinks SN10 is 60% likely to land. I'm coming up with 32.33 uh, repeating, of course, percentage of survival. Well, that's a lot better than we usually do. Road closures for a static fire are in place for Monday at the making of this video. If all goes well, we could see Starship take flight for a third time soon after. Maybe late next week at the earliest, however unlikely. SpaceX, a privately traded company, has concluded their recent equity funding round, raising their new funds to just one cent shy of 420, bringing the company's valuation up to $74 billion, which is a 60% increase from their previous round back in August. Michael Sheets of CNBC reported that SpaceX received, quote, insane demand of $6 billion from investors over just a few days. This, of course, is most likely due to the successful outlook of SpaceX's Starlink Constellation program which, while young in its development, has already begun providing service to select customers, over 10,000, and just last week started taking pre-orders. And speaking of Starlink, on Monday evening, SpaceX launched a single Falcon 9 rocket for sixth time, carrying 60 more Starlink sats to add to their network. The mission to deliver them to orbit went without a hiccup. However, the company ended their streak of 24 consecutive booster landings when Booster 1059 decided it'd rather die than consume fried bird and so kamikaze it off target into the Atlantic Ocean. Hello, boys! I'm back! At the moment, it's not clear what was responsible for the malfunction. The only thing left to do now is assign blame. Nice going. <laughs> However, one of the $3 million fairing halves, the active one, was recovered successfully. The passive one arrived at the port completely exposed, with its crack hanging out. The next Falcon launch is another Starlink launch, currently scheduled for February 21st. Now it's time for today's honorable mention. On Thursday afternoon, NASA and JPL's Mars 2020 rover, Perseverance, entered the Martian atmosphere after launching from Cape Canaveral back in July. I went ahead and spliced NASA's videos of the landing, attempt, no spoilers here, with their animation for visual effect. Enjoy the show. They have confirmation of entry interface. Perseverance is currently going 5.3 kilometers per second at an altitude of about 120 kilometers from the surface of Mars. 
We are probably seeing MRO plasma blackout at this point. We have indications that Perseverance is now performing bank reversals. We are starting to straighten up and fly right maneuver where the spacecraft will jettison the entry balance masses in preparation for parachute deploy and to roll over to give the radar a better look at the ground. Yes, yes, the navigation yes. has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration. Yes. Perseverance has now slowed to subsonic speeds and the heat shield has been separated. confirmation that the bat shell has separated. We are currently performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. Here in safety, Bravo. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude of about 300 meters off the surface of Mars. Skycam maneuver has started. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. The rover is tasked with a number of different objectives, including caching samples of the Red Planet for a later return mission, and deploying the first otherworldly helicopter drone. Its ultimate mission is to investigate whether life ever existed on the Red Planet. When I informed the lawyer wife of the engineering magic that just happened, she said, quote, if robots can land themselves on another planet, then surely they are capable of taking over this one. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, but thanks for tuning in. Shout out to my eccentric members and patrons for their support of the channel. If you'd like to join the fam and receive access to more in-depth Tuesday episodes of SpaceX in the News, or other live videos of non-SpaceX missions I cover, there's a link in the description. Do have a nominal weekend, and until next time, Godspeed.